So we've just had a massive drop of new LEGO sets. There are a fair few sets, so I thought I'd make a very impromptu video going through a few of the sets that I'm excited about and which ones I'll be buying day one potentially. I'm going to be covering some of the new City, Star Wars and Speed Champion sets in this video so I may not cover all of them as there are loads and as far as I'm aware all of these new sets revealed are set to launch on the 1st of June of this year. So not long until we have them in our hands but without further ado let's get to the sets. To begin with we'll be taking a look at the new Lego City sets. I really feel like Lego is doing really well with the City theme this year. Anyway, let's see what's been announced. I think my favourite of them all is this new Crawler Excavator set. I really, really can't wait to get this set. I mean, it's an excavator for God's sakes. This set features 633 pieces and will retail for $54.99. The arm moves as well as the body, just like a real excavator. It would have been cool to see it motorised, but maybe that's a project for the future. On to the next set and sticking with the construction theme we have a mobile construction crane which is quite a hefty set of 1116 pieces and it carries a hefty price tag of $109.99 which isn't as bad as I thought it would be. Like the excavator I will absolutely be getting this. Also like the excavator its arm is maneuverable and can rotate on its platform. The construction companies of Lego City definitely have some awesome new toys to play with. Next we have the car transport with sports cars. It features 998 pieces with a few minifigures alongside their own cars and will retail for $99.99 which isn't bad but isn't great either. This set won't be a day one purchase but being a Lego set with a truck I will probably get it at some point. Speaking of trucks we have the return of an icon and I'm really excited for this set. The Lego truck is finally back and god damn it I will sell kidneys for a truckload of these trucks. This set features 1061 pieces and will retail for $99.99 which like the truck before isn't bad but isn't great either. I've been after the older version for a while but they sell for quite a bit on the second hand market. Moving swiftly on to the Star Wars sets and to be honest I am a little bit underwhelmed by what's been revealed especially after all the hype around some of the sets I'm about to talk about. Firstly we've got a new mech which seemed to be a hit with some people after the minifigures especially the Boba Fett one. This mech includes Luke Skywalker with a mech in the shape of his X-Wing ship which actually looks quite cool. I'm not gonna lie I kind of dig these little sets. They also seem to go on offer a lot as well so you can usually get them for less than £10 which is pretty good. This mech features 195 pieces and will retail for $15.99. I won't be buying this but I may buy all of the mechs available one day in the future. The next set is Rex's Y-Wing Microfighter. This set looks a bit dull and the Y-Wing looks a bit blocky to me at least and especially when compared to older versions of the Y-Wing as a Microfighter from the past. It features 99 pieces and will retail for a very nice low price of $12.99. The obvious big upside of this set and the reason for why this set is definitely a day one purchase for me and probably a lot of people is unsurprisingly the minifigure. Yes, we're finally getting that supposed exclusive Rex minifigure from the Venator set, which I'm very excited to get. It does look very detailed and includes all of his accessories as well. So yeah, that is definitely a day one set for me. The third set is a battle pack and I think I speak for us all when I say we all love battle packs, right? I actually own six now, which is absolutely crazy. I didn't realize I had that many. Let me know how many battle packs do you have? Which one is your favorite? Tell me in the comment section below. Anyway, so this this battle pack is the Mandalorian and Imperial Super Commando battle pack that is a tongue twister and a half. It features 109 pieces and will retail for $19.99. I'm not sure about this one, I believe the Super Commando's helmets are a new mould for this set so that'll be really cool to see. And we also see that new element that Lego introduced in the Marvel sets being used to make one of the Super Commando's fly. As for the Mandalorian, you get one warrior and one night owl so a bit 
of variety in this set. I'll be buying this set at some point, but not day one. It's very cool, but it's very underwhelming in my opinion for what I was expecting. For our last set, I've saved the best to last. We finally have the deets on the new set that'll feature the Paz Vizsla minifigure. If you don't know, the Paz Vizsla minifigure is heavily sought after, especially from the set from the Armourer's Forge, which I have actually reviewed in the past. This has been the Paz Vizsla and Moff Gideon battle. This could technically be called a battle pack as well. I've seen a few people refer to it as such. This set features 299 pieces, four minifigures, and will retail for $39.99, which does seem a little bit expensive. Along with some Praetorian guards for good measure, I hope I pronounced that right, you also get a small build of sorts, which I believe may attach to the battle pack. The standout features of this set is obviously the Paz Vizsla minifigure. It's been a while since we've seen him, and Moff Gideon with his new helmet. But sadly, no cape which takes away from it a little bit. Without a doubt, I will definitely be getting this on day one. I've been excited for the set since rumours have surfaced quite a while ago. Now being a fan of cars in real life, the Speed Champion sets are really, really cool to me. 2024 started off really strong with the Mustang, Audi and BMW double pack. So let's see what else we have on the horizon. Firstly, we have the Aston Martin double pack containing the AMR 23 Formula 1 car as well as the VA Vantage safety car. This set features 564 pieces in total and will retail for £44.99. This one looks like it'll have a lot of stickers due to the Formula 1 car which I'm really not looking forward to. The green looks like it's meant to be British racing green but it looks a bit off. It's hard to fully judge from an image so I'll reserve my thoughts until I have it in my hand. Still though it looks really cool and I'll definitely be buying this but not on day one. Next we have the Mercedes-Benz double pack. This contains the SL63 Roadster in yellow and a G63 wagon in black. This set features 808 pieces and will retail for £44.99 as well. I do like this double pack but the front grills look a bit weird but I think last time Lego did a Mercedes-Benz grill it was actually a sticker instead of physical parts. So I guess this is a welcome change but it still looks really weird. The SL63 Roadster proportions also look a bit weird as well. It looks flat but it could be the angle of this image. This will be another set that I will be buying at some point but not day one. A set I definitely will be buying on day one is the Lamborghini V12 Vision GT. This for me is like a clash of worlds because this is Lego, cars, and Gran Turismo all in one. That's crazy. <laughs> I am also a massive fan of Lamborghini and I have been ever since I was a child, so I have to absolutely get this set. It features 230 pieces and will retail for £20.99. This car will definitely be an interesting build just by looking at it, and with that, a lot of stickers, which is a shame, but to be expected. The wheels also look a bit weird for this car, but then again, nothing looks normal about this car anywhere. <laughs> and that brings us to the end of this list. There's a few more sets that I will be getting that I haven't included in this video, like the Robot World set and the Downtown Tram set. But I wanna know what you guys are planning to get. Let me know in the comment section below what sets you will be buying on day one. And I'll see you guys in the next video.